Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, so we've got our our uh, mandrel, and we're going to put our test one of our test pieces on, and it'll slide right on there, and we'll tighten it up. Okay, and we're on and in place. Now there's two bits that I have to make and I'm going to take this down so you can see what we need to do. I'm going to try to get a pointer here. Is uh, if you'll notice the the contour of this outer edge was built to not have threads. So there's a radius right on that little corner right there. And what we need to do is put a uh, slight uh, reduction in diameter there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring it in a little closer. Maybe you can see it right in there so that I can know where the threads are going to go and how deep they're going to go. And that is, I mean, a very small, minuscule chunk of a bit. But it's needed. Okay, well, so, I pulled out all of my oddball little small reach out in the into nowhere land bits and that one came pretty close but it's a little bit wide and it's a beautiful radius so I don't want to wreck it and then I came across this one and this one's going to do the trick it's just about right on the width and then we need a a bit that's going to come in and cut the threads and I'm looking at this one. I'm not sure. It may not be enough. This one looks like it could be uh, a bit better. Maybe just trim it just a little bit. All right, so we've got these two. And everybody else goes back in the drawer for the next, you know, five years before they get looked at again. All right, first thing we've got is uh, this bit here, which is the width is just about perfect. It's just, you know, it's just a little bit dull. I just want to sweeten it up just a little bit. Oh, you didn't see it, did you? Okay, we're going to sweeten it up just a little bit. Let's come down. There we go. All right, so we've got our bit squared up to the piece. Now what we need to do is just come down onto that shoulder and take out about 10 thousandths. Now I'm going to come in close here. And well, I think first the first thing we need to do is get this thing up in the air where it belongs. Drop this in there. Yeah, we're pretty high. I can see that already. And that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get my head in here. See where we're at. Ok, 
Okay, we're butted right up against. We're gonna turn this thing on. And once again, I'm gonna get my head in here. Okay, we're just touching right now. So, we're gonna take it in 10 thousandths. What's that look like? I'd say a little bit more. Okay. Let's take that out. All right, that looks pretty good. We're just going to take this back and pull our sleeve or our bolt and take this off the sleeve. Now we're going to look at it carefully. It looks pretty good, but you know what? That, uh, that front edge is not square. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, well, our hole just needs a little bit of reaming out, and I, the only way I can kind of come up with something that's going to work, geez, this, this feels pretty loose. I'm going to try it out. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we're just a little bit of extra, so what I'm going to do is put it up on the shaft, start it up, and just put a little bit of pressure on the walls and let it spin. You can see, you know, any other material than, than aluminum or copper, and this wouldn't work. But it is pulling a certain amount of material off of there. You can kind of see the powder. So just a little bit at a time. Okay, so uh, we just take it and slide it on, and it just tightens up just as we're getting right to the bottom of that which is exactly what we want. Put the nut out, or put the bolt in. Snug it all down. And we're going to bring in really close here. All right, we'll try it there. We're going to bring our bit, our very, very narrow bit, in. Without hitting the camera, of course. And we're going to bring it in just so it just barely touches the this inner wall and okay so and then we will take it in 20 thousandths and there's 20. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so we've done all three of our test pieces. Now we want to come in and do the actual pieces that we're working with. And that's just a little bit more scary. I have, I don't have any leeway, no wiggle room. Okay, this piece can go on. And we're going to bring it in, not going to touch, but we're going to come as close as we can get. There it is right there. And let's see what this uh, anodize is going to do. See if we can cut below it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So there's zero. So we're going to go 20. There's 10. Come on, baby. And there's 20. That looks good. Okay, and if we need to go down further later, we can do that. So I have three more to cut. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back after I cut. Okay, we're all set up to uh, put threads on this little shoulder right there. And we're doing 32 threads per inch. We're set up at zero. You can't see that. Well, you can see a little bit of it, huh? Let's see if we can get you down to see it a little better. That's not bad. And then if I cover up the, let's see here, we go somewhere in there. <laughs> Anyhow, so we're, we're totally set up. We're sitting on zero. We're going to do a little scratch pass just to see what's going on. And I think we're all set to go. You ready? Okay, go. Yep, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So now um, we back it up a bit. And then because these threads are so, uh, so small and such a narrow area, I'm not going to take it out of gear. I'm just going to reverse the, the travel and come back. I'm going to get my head in the way here because I've got to stop just at the right moment. Okay, there it is. And we're going to bring this back to zero. We're sitting at zero. We take this in. 
let's go five at a time because it's so fragile a little uh, magic dust and we are ready to rip once again okay go and since I didn't take it out of gear I don't have to worry about it missing or anything happening so we now bring it back get my head in the way again looks pretty good come back to zero and we've got five so let's take ten Back it up. That's pretty good. Well, maybe not. I think that's okay. So we're going to come back to zero. We're sitting at 10, so we'll take 15 and do it once again. Let's get a little bit of go juice on there. One more cut. Nice. We got just a little bit of a edge flipping off of there because uh, I didn't 45 it. This is, by the way, just the test piece <laughs> because I'm so scared. Uh, all right, so go back to zero or back to clearance. Back ourselves up. Come back to zero. And we're going to come all the way to 20. And that should be our final cut. Yeah, looks like it. It just cleared off all of the uh, color off of the surface. So we're going to just continue to bring this out because we don't want to disconnect it or anything. And see what our... Because we've got the threads inside of here. See if we can get this to screw in. Come on. There it goes. I think. Nope. Um, oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> okay. Okay, how come it doesn't want to screw in? Ah, because there's this little rib. There it is. See it? Just enough to kind of muck the works up. So we'll just bend it off. There it is. Zippity doo dah. Slides right on. 
No problem. Excellent. So that one is good. The one we did just a few minutes ago, which was uh, the, the first test piece before I could put it on camera, <laughs> is, uh, was about, oh, maybe a thousandths or two bigger, and it just didn't quite fit. I mean, it fit okay, but by the time it got down there, it started to tighten up. So I took it to 22 here, and it looks like it's fitting just perfect. And now I got one more test piece that I'm going to run first, but that that feels pretty good. Uh, that I'll do at 21, and we'll see what happens there. Then we come in and uh, do the real pieces, and we can take this one off, and we'll come back. Okay, so uh, we've got, uh, we're going to do this for real. I'm a little nervous, but uh, we'll see how it goes. First thing we do is take it back to zero. And then take this back a ways. And then uh, I'm already set up and in, uh, in gear. So what I'm going to do is just reverse my travel so that this thing comes all the way back to and I keep an eye out because I got to turn it off just at the right moment like about right now okay just a little bit more And I might be a little close. So I'm going to just back it up completely so it doesn't hit. And then take out the backlash and bring it in. And I'll take out the backlash a little bit more. a little too far <laughs> okay a little bit more all right that's too far There we are. Okay, so now we bring it back to zero. And is that zero? I think it is. And then we bring our our cross slide or our compound in five thousandths. And we should get uh, just a strike on that as we go. We ready? Okay, keep your fingers crossed. There it is. Okay, now take up, we're back it up a little bit, and then we're gonna back this up just a little bit. should do it just a little bit come back to zero take five more and go move it out of the way Come back. Find 
and door zero again. So now we're at 10. So I'm going to take just five thousandths per cut from this point on because it puts a bit of pressure on the bit itself and you can tell that that bit is uh, <laughs> it's fairly small so let's go ahead and we're gonna take five off of this now it up come back all right that got too close so we're gonna back up all the way and then pretty good okay zero let's do five more five more overall two and a half uh, per side and take it to the next step And now we're at 15 thousandths. Zero. I think we're going to be good. Let's take another two and a half. it up a little bit there we go yep so zero and we're gonna take it to 22 good and then we're going to take it to 25 and that's going to give us pretty much our final cut we may have to come back in for a spring cut so we'll see Looks like a nice, nice fit. Okay. That pretty much did it. I like it. And that is number four, so we're done. 
Okay, well, hell's bells, we got the dang thing done, and uh, and we only had one little crash that happened on the back side of that. Otherwise, every one of them came out just about perfect. I am fairly pleased with myself. Here's the three uh, test pieces that we ran, and I'm you know I swear they've saved my life because I made all my mistakes here and by the time I got to the actual pieces um, the uh, I had worked it all out and everything kind of went fairly smoothly except for that one little crash but uh, hey uh, everything can't be perfect well you know I, what I always like to do is I have like to have extra material in case I screw up and then I've got more material to work with. And uh, uh, in this case, I had nothing extra. There were four pieces. That's how many pieces he wanted. There was no mistakes that could be made. And highly stressful. Not fun at all, but it's fun to have it done. And uh, hey, you know, uh, and during that time, I took some breaks and had uh, had some downtime. and. Uh, Worked on that little sculpture piece on the wall there and finished that up. It came out pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, that's why I built this shop in the first place, to be able to do art. Uh, but, uh, you know, I get to do it once in a while. Hey, this is Nick Collier, checking out.